Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Courtney. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really cute Dollar Tree fall sign. Okay, full disclosure here. So originally I was going to use some white foam board and wooden rulers that I have in my stash, but when I was moving all of my stuff back into my craft room from having my new floors put in, I remembered I had a bunch of these signs that I picked up for like a dollar from Hobby Lobby when they had their clearance sale. So I decided to just go ahead and use one of those because I have quite a few. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tape the frame part of this so that I can get it ready to paint. Now if you do not have a sign that you can repurpose, then all you're going to do is cut a piece of the white foam board and then taking either the wooden rulers from Dollar Tree or even the tower pieces, build a frame and just glue them down on top of your foam board. Now you can paint the foam board if you would like to or you can just leave it the white that it is. To cover the graphic on this sign, I end up using three coats of the Plaster Waverly Chalk Paint from Walmart. While my sign is drying, I'm going to do a little surgery on some of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. So I picked up one of these white pumpkins as well as a three pack of the mini pumpkins. And what I did, which I'm just going to be honest, I really don't know that this is necessary and I did not do it on the little pumpkins, but in thought, I thought that if I put some painter's tape that it might cut a little smoother since these are styrofoam inside. I can't say that it really helped. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. Um, I don't think you need to do the tape, just don't do it. So anyway, um, I did find it was easier to cut this with a serrated knife versus a pair of scissors or a X-Acto knife or box cutter. So I'm just gonna cut this large pumpkin in half and then there's the nice guts inside. And then I'm going to take the small pumpkins and cut those in half as well. I will remove the stems and keep those for later because I am gonna be reusing those. Once my pumpkins are cut, I'm going to use three different colors of paint. So for the big one, I'm going to use this ivory Waverly chalk paint. And then for one of the small, I'll use the pumpkin Waverly chalk paint. And then for the other small pumpkin, I'm going to use the moss colored Waverly chalk paint. And I end up putting two coats of paint on each of these halves of the pumpkin. I do not paint the styrofoam, styrofoam portion. I just paint the pumpkin part. While the pumpkins are drying, I'm going to take some of this fawn colored Waverly chalk paint and paint my wooden Dollar Tree letters. I went back and forth whether or not I wanted to do pumpkins for sale or pumpkin patch, and ultimately I decided to go ahead and do pumpkin patch. So I'm just gonna paint these, coat these really good. I end up just doing one coat on the fronts and just on the sides of all the letters. Now taking some truffle Waverly chalk paint, I am just gonna quickly paint the three stems that I pulled out of the pumpkins. The stems are painted and now I'm going to distress my pumpkins. So I poured some truffle and I poured some hazelnut paint and honestly these two colors together made me really wanna eat a Reese's peanut butter cup, but that's beside the point. So honestly, I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of like, mixing this together until I get sort of a color that I want and then I'm going to take my brush and then lightly just brush in the creases of all the pumpkins. Some of them I'd get a little hand, heavy handed and so I have to go back with the orange or the ivory or the moss to kind of get it balanced out but eventually I get the look that I want and then I'm good to go. So I peeled off the paint 
on my sign here and I got a little paint on the frame so I just quickly sanded it off no big deal and now I'm going to take all of my pieces and try to mess around with it for probably way too long trying to figure out how I want this to go if I want the pumpkins on the bottom on the top on in the middle you, you know how that goes so I'm gonna mess around with it and then once I kind of figure out where I want it to go my last step is going to be adding the stems back to the pumpkins and then gluing everything down one last embellishment I took a little piece of wire that I actually got off of one of the burlap Dollar Tree leaves um, they had these little wires like this and I snipped it off and I just saved those and then I'm just gonna curl it around my scissors to make a little vine and attach that to my center pumpkin And the very last step is to go ahead and start gluing everything down and I am just using good old-fashioned hot glue and sticking it on the back of everything and then just smushing it down onto my side. dimensional fall sign that you can put up anywhere that you want to. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you love fall DIYs. My Christmas ones will be starting to roll out very soon. Please consider subscribing to my channel and to check out my social media for behind the scenes bonus DIYs and all of that jazz. Until the next video, see you later. Bye!